Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots and I'm back at it again with more motherfucking crypto game. If you need the crypto mentorship, if you want to learn more about blockchain, decentralization, cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, hit your boy up, Crypto Roots at Proton Mail. If you need a Monero crypto miner for your CPU, I got you, hit me up. If you need an Ethereum domain name for your wallet, I got you. If you need a centralized website, I got you. If you need a multi-sig wallet for your family or business account, I got you. Please forgive the chicken noises in the background. I live in the jungle on a chicken farm and there are hella fucking chickens. And it's kind of early in the morning. Woo! All right, people, we back at it again. I got another crypto gem, potential crypto gem that I invested in. And I took some time to do a bit more research. I even had to talk to the developers and ask a few questions to uh, really see, um, you know, dig a little deeper. And, you know, so far I feel pretty confident. So I, I invested in, I'm looking to invest more and I just want to share this project with you. Um, I think it's very crucial that we catch these, first of all, crypto gems early and that these gems are actually adding on and bringing benefit to the crypto community as a whole, that they're not trying to copy or do the same thing or like, you know, so I like the, the cryptos that are doing something new, but it's absolutely needed and necessary. And so that's why I invested in Dether, all right, DTH, because your boy crypto is always on top of this motherfucking crypto game. I'm telling you, I'm just on fucking fire right now. All right, so Dether, if we look up Dether, my bad, should have had this page loaded, um, right? It's already at, it's at two cents, so I'm not paying, yeah, it's cheap, it's cheap. But what value does it bring? So, all right, it's ERC-20 token uh, on the Ethereum blockchain, right? It doesn't have a max supply. Okay, okay, all right. It's still a small cap gem, in my opinion. Now, if we go to the website, what is this? It's an Ethereum on-ramp and off-ramp from your cash to Ethereum. What are you talking about? You literally become a POS, a point of sale, okay? You can sell your cash for Ethereum. Now, let me explain to you why I think this is so dope, but I'm gonna leave all the links in the description why I feel like this is, could potentially be a great investment. So, what is Dether app? The Dether app is your decentralized mobile application to buy and sell ETH, ETH locally with cash. No bank account needed, and no fees taken by us. Already, ching ching, no bank account, no KYC, and they ain't taking no fees, I'm already on board. Decentralized mobile app, I'm already on board. Holla at me, let me know, let me, yeah, fill me in with some more. Uh, first launch on Testnet is in 2017. All right, they've been in the game a few years. The Dether app creates a, a direct bridge between cash and ether. With the stable release, we have built a frictionless solution for individuals willing to trade crypto with others. All right, what can you do with the Dether app? You can build your crypto portfolio. So now it's, it's a crypto wallet just in itself, all right? But you can buy, you can use cash to purchase Ethereum or any ERC-20 token in over 140 countries, which I'm going to discuss later. All right. So you can sell cryptocurrency so you can tone your, turn your phone into a mobile crypto ATM and make money for it, bro. That's what, I'm all about that game. I'm all about that making money online, making money as I go and making money from my cell phone. I currently already do that and I'm looking to level up and this may be potentially a good thing in the future, right? You can exchange crypto on a decentralized exchange so you can use it to swap ERC-20 tokens and uh, you can locate crypto shops around you, all right, as a means of payment. So you can find shops that are willing to sell Ethereum straight up. You can just go and, nah, I don't want to buy any groceries, I just want to buy some Ethereum and you found that on, on the map, all right? Now, here's the dope thing. You can also own land. You can own land. What I'm saying this is you can buy the motherfucking block. You can buy up the block. And once you buy up the block, the zoning is based on geo hash, all right? Geo hash coordinates, all right? That is uh, put in on a smart contract. So it has the geo hash location of the whole world and they're able to divide it in little uh, sections and you can purchase, uh, purchase a block. Now, that's the cool thing. So I'm always looking for uh, new investments in virtual real estate, especially with uh, Decentraland and Ethverse, I'm always looking for a way to get ahead of the game, to own some real estate, and there's different forms of real estate to own other than just physical land. So you can virtually own 
this block and what happens is is that you can it'll sh you'll be the only person selling ethereum that'll show up on the app so if somebody uh somebody wants to buy ethereum in that on that block they get pull up the app right and then so it, it operates like the uh hedgebers hedgeber tax all right sorry about that it's a lot of information but it has to do with history and taxes essentially you own a zone geo hash all right you pay licensing fees so you got to stake some dth in order to let them know like you for real like you really want to buy this right and then you got to pay taxes on the land you own right and then you're the zone owner all right uh, an address which owns in the zone of smart contract the address has staked the licensee fees ownership benefits All right, so the zone owner benefits when you own a zone the assurance of being the only seller present in that zone This is my motherfucking block. You will not show up. You cannot sell ETH on my block homie The possibility of renting space to shops accepting crypto so you can rent that out You'd be like yes, my block, but if you want to sell ethereum, you got to pay me right you can rent you so different You can own a block right and then different shops can be like, yo, I'll pay you to sell Ethereum. So you like collecting fees, kind of like extortion fees in some way or taxes from all the people that are selling Ethereum on your block. So how to own a zone. I'll leave all these links in the description. I'm just kind of giving you a rough overview. But literally, you can own this and then you'll be the only seller and then you can rent that out and have other sellers work for you, right? So also, they have a reputation system. So because now they also have peer-to-peer -peer messaging apps. So now you can be a, a reputable seller. All right So you now you know why why have a reputation system help keeps users safe a rating system and reviews helps Identify serious sellers in shops just like any other mark uh, just like any marketplace Users can have a greater peace of mind knowing a seller has good reviews So instead of just really just randomly buying off somebody who probably you know stab you or somebody Something you could just have verified users or reputation some just like uber, you know So you could feel a bit safer transacting with these people because the reputation is on the blockchain provides an environment for serious traders So uh, you got a stake to be there So you you already know these people are serious and they're invested in what they're gonna do before they make a buyer make a sell All right, so grow sellers trade networks by uh, amassing positive feedback the more feedback that the more networks and referrals you get so the reputation system is a big upgrade to this app. Now, they also have, oh, so not only that, you can uh, add any, R e any ERC-20. So you, you don't just have to sell Ethereum, you can sell BAT, you can sell Ocean, you can sell RW, you can hustle any ERC-20 token, dude. And it, it does the background shit on Uniswap. Um, with, you, you don't even have to worry about all that. But seriously, this is, why, this is what we need, in my opinion, for um, crypto mass adoption. Not everyone can get a bank account, like straight up. I, I live in Mexico and trying to bring that shit up is like, no, people only use cash. Straight up, and this is India, China, like a lot of places. They mainly use cash. So why skip the banks and skip the KYC and skip the exchanges, dude. Like be able to like, onboard people to this Ethereum ecosystem straight off the streets and let people know about this and like, you, this is how you bring on mass adoption in my opinion This is where you get in the streets and then start really Educating people download this app uh, You know da 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 and then within an hour or two They can be fully on board and exchange have a new source or a new viable source of income once they start teaching people about it So this is why I think Dether is potentially a great investment. It's still really cheap um, I'm invested in it and I'm investing in the, uh, in the, the liquidity pool. Sorry and I'm gonna leave a. I'm gonna I'm show you the app. They also have an app. It's a progressive web app, so it's not a native app. So it's a little different. Now, before I head out, and I'm gonna show you the video, there are some cons that I'm gonna I'm mention. Okay. So the con, the biggest con to me is that on the front end app through the app, I tried to want to buy a block in LA. You know, I'm like I'm looking at prime time, right? You, per, you cannot purchase a block, you can't purchase any land in America through the, the front end app. I was very, very disappointed. They said over 140 countries. I'm like, yo, if this is decentralized, why does it matter? Well, I talked to the developers and they said, you can still buy land, but you have to buy it through the smart contract protocol. The lawyer advised them not to promote it on their front end website 
due to legal legal uh, you know ramifications that they were advised not to post it. But behind the scenes, you can actually still own it through the smart contract because that's actually decentralized. Now, so that was a con, and uh, sooner or later, if they really want to get this really going, they're gonna have to be able to let people buy land in America through the front end app and not have to do all technical from the back end. But who knows, other projects can come out with that uh, to do that. But they're trying to avoid any, any legal shit going on. So that, that is something to keep out for, but that could be improved. Second is that the progressive web app is still a bit slow and it's still a bit clunky. But I do appreciate the fact that they have a working product. The fact that they have a working product, I do appreciate and respect. So you could already take advantage of this technology right now. And I feel with the reputation system, with the ERC-20 tokens, like with the way things are going with Ethereum, this could really take off. And it has a lot of potential. Um, and it's been, and I, in my opinion, I'm just letting you guys know about it, you know, that this could really go up. So uh, holla at your boy Crypto Roots for the mentorship. I'm gonna leave uh, a video uh, that I recorded on my phone that's showing you the app a little bit, all right? So just putting you on a game. Much love. Check out DTH, CoinGecko, uh, and make cop a little bit. still cheap. So much love. Take it easy. Peace.